All right, skipping straight to turn seven here in customs because this run went a little bit longer and we're also gonna have some bonus clips at the end. But this is Egyptian Vulture plus Hedgehog, which um, really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I really wanted to try it. Definitely been seeing a lot more Egyptian Vulture teams out in the wild. Um, it's massively improved uh, along with the other knockout pets, Rhino and Falcon. The fact that you don't have to survive um, to inactivate the knockout ability makes a big difference. Previously, if you traded one for one with the front unit, nothing would happen. And that made the, the knockout pets extremely unreliable. Um, but that issue has been solved now. And here you can see I've got some of the pieces of the puzzle, but we don't have the Egyptian Vulture yet. I'm going to bring in the Alpaca because I want to try and get level 3 Skunk as soon as possible. Anytime you're going for one of these really odd combos, you're probably going to need some kind of ultra strong unit to carry the, the build. And the skunk is going to do that for us here. Uh, the idea being that the skunk reduces the health of the um, biggest opposing unit to one. The Egyptian vulture kills something, triggers the hedgehog, and then that unit will be um, fainted. Now, of course, that doesn't that's not a guarantee. You know, they could have um, melon or uh, pepper or... Um, coconut but there's a lot of people that play with um, you know no equipment for whatever reason but also um, lemon and they will instantly get uh, fainted by that setup so we've used the alpaca to get the skunk a bit closer to level three I am just going to play with the four squad this turn and um, we desperately need to set up some scaling for the Egyptian vulture and chameleon plus flashlight seems like the obvious choice as usual I'm not playing with clownfish in this pack um, although I think I did upload a Clownfish video the other day and there are definitely some uh, stored up waiting to go. But um, we do have Banana, we do have Monkey and um, that should in theory be enough. One of the problems with this of course is that Egyptian Vulture, you know, you need to have big stats in order to potentially kill something unless you're facing a summon build. Um, and the Vulture here is going to start on 11, 10, okay, 13, 13, turn 10. It's pretty poor. It's very unlikely to be able to kill the front unit unless this, this skunk um, reduces it enough. Now there, we did reduce the stats down, but uh, of course it had um, lemon and uh, ended up surviving. But now we're going to get a, a little bit of a boost from the, um, the flashlight. Again, still 1919 on turn 11 is pretty weak, but we only have three trophies, so... We're also facing quite a lot of um, teams that didn't really scale all that aggressively. And so uh, we, we probably have a little bit of time to try and get the Egyptian Vulture up to a decent level. So now I'm gonna actually set up the combo. The Hedgehog is in second position and you can see what happens here. The Hedgehog actually hits itself, which uh, I think is kind of amusing. That was previously not possible, but um, it removes its own melon and so, uh, yeah, you, I guess you could argue that um, the melon doesn't do a whole lot. Probably 1-up would be better. I did record an awful lot of runs of this where I forgot to put 1-up in the pack. Um, there I was just checking. I didn't really see what happened. It was the uh, the crane gave um, melon to the elephant seal and then uh, the um, tar fainted and gave chili as well. So there was multiple activations there from the Elephant Seal and the Axolotl and I was a little bit confused. That's why I replayed it. So here's a, a very weak team trying to get Chicken going. Um, I don't really foresee them surviving much longer. But again, the uh, the ability goes off. I don't think it really made too much difference there. Although because of the weakness, we did end up uh, almost destroying our own team. So we'll take the level on the Triceratops. I do have Mongoose there as well. I was in quite a lot of runs I was taking the coconut to try and increase the chances of the Egyptian Vulture one for one at the front. But this time we're gonna go for a cat. And here you can see the combo working. So the uh, gazelle gets reduced to one HP and then the hedgehog finishes it off. Um, quite satisfying to actually see it in action. And then um, now we use the cat to try and uh, boost stuff up. I think I'm gonna actually buff the um, Triceratops rather than the uh, Egyptian Vulture. We do want it to activate multiple times and I'm going to definitely replace the melon with um, mushroom as soon as I find it. And if we have two Triceratops, I guess we can potentially get a little bit of a chain going where they pass stats backwards and forwards to each other. This is kind of amusing. We get a match with the jellyfish team with, uh, with Skunk. 
Yeah, not skunk, sloth. It's kind of weird to see sloth, you know, actual legitimate sloths in the wild like this one. Um, they had uh, two level two cats there, but their scaling was uh, pretty poor, I think. Maybe they spent the last couple of turns just getting the cats to level two. So I'm going to freeze the cat here, although I do think I'm going to give up on it relatively soon. And we're just going to um, one up the hedgehog. So hopefully we'll get some um, more triggers from Triceratops. And um, here's a team with uh, no equipment, just like I mentioned earlier. They do have Husky, of course. The thing is, though, now playing with no equipment with Husky, you know, it really you need to be having pets like reindeer, like turtle. I mean, you've got mongoose now as well, which is crazy that you can have Husky scaling and then just get instant coconut. But um, yeah, they, they had nothing there so that they suffered the uh, the combo and it worked perfectly. So here I actually roll another Triceratops when I've got this stuff frozen. Um, so I think I'm going to do one more turn of scaling with a cat and then we're just going to go for uh, the full setup straight away and just hope that um, our stats are good enough. So um, next opponent, uh, it's not going to be good enough here. Unfortunately, we play against one of the lamest possible builds in the game. Uh, this username is kind of ironic, I guess. Um, Orca, I mean, you've got T-Rex and Orca, so you've got access to almost all the pets in the game uh, and you're playing Triple Leopard T-Rex. Oh man, maybe that was an achievement hunter, but um, there are better ways to get the level three Orca achievement. So um, yeah, we bring in the uh, the second Triceratops. Its stats are <laughs> terrible, but as long as we don't get sniped, it should at least give uh, one trigger from the Hedgehog. And of course, Triceratops also works on Faint now as well. And this was a perfect round where we instant killed the uh, Muskox um, because they had the turtle in front of it and it didn't have any um, defense of its own. So actually, I think here, um, I wasn't really thinking about it, but I could have also one up the Triceratops at the back. Instead, I end up giving it a banana here, but the one up would work um, if it ended up getting sniped by a croc or something. This is amusing because we get matched with the, a full summon build with low stats. So, uh, but the Egyptian Vulture only has one level. I didn't bother leveling it up because a lot of the time, you know, you're not going to get multiple activations. And uh, the potato on the Grizzly protects it, so I'm quite worried that it's going to shoot and end up uh, killing off the team. But we do end up killing the Grizzly. And here we get a very weird situation where we have four zombie flies on the opposing team. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever seen something like that happen before, but... Um, it was definitely amusing. So net turn 19 with this incredibly weird uh, Hedgehog Egyptian Vulture build, is it possible for this to win? Um, I think it is. However, not when you get matched with this. The full 50-50 food build, and even though we are going to instant kill one of the 50-50s, we just don't have uh, anywhere near enough stats to, to get the job done. Kind of unfortunate, but I mean, to be honest, that's really what I was expecting with a, a build like this. Getting to turn 19 in the first place uh, was pretty good going. However, we do have a whole bunch of bonus clips from the recording sessions. Here's one where I had both Jerboa and Elephant Seal going to try and scale everything up. But again, it's turn 17. It's so late. And I thought this was funny. I got matched with this team, which looks like it's from the previous weekly. Um, you know, they're hunting for uh, draws and sloths, but I feel like your odds of finding a sloth that way in customs are so poor, um, it's not really worth your time. I mean, I hope they manage to do it, but uh, I can't see it. Uh, this is kind of funny where they've got Badger at the front and the Badger sets off the uh, Egyptian Vulture ability and then Revenge kills it, but we ha end up uh, hanging on by one HP for the win. Um, Here's one where one of the problems with this is when you're using Hedgehog in this way, you can often end up in a, a draw situation. And here we uh, we tied too many times, turn 14. We end up getting matched with this uh, triple skunk setup and uh, the Hedgehog kind of uh, sabotages our own build, even though we had the coconut there. Here's one of these um, sort of um, power combos with uh, the chameleon plus one up plus um, uh, the flashlight. Although I think actually they're kind of wasting a lot of stats there, giving it to the stork. Um, however, <laughs> the stork is going to respawn um, 
uh, Scorpion and we lose there. I think uh, there were a few ways we could have survived that, but um, that was a little bit annoying to see the Scorpion. And then here is what you can, you know, you can often expect if you end up not finding the Hedgehog like I did in this run, we get to the end, the Hedgehog gets instant killed so the combo doesn't even happen. And um, we end up winning, but uh, to be honest, that one didn't really count for me, even though I did get the Stingray achievement. And then here's another one with, um, this is a kind of amusing sequence where the Hedgehog gets sniped. That results in the Egyptian Vulture triggering the Stork, and we get another Egyptian Vulture, which is then going to chain up and trigger the Stork again. So I guess in theory you could end up with like an endless sequence of Egyptian Vultures coming out of Storks. Um, here's one where uh, we uh, we get moved by eggplant there I think it was so that's another problem that you have to contend with and of course there now the Egyptian vulture doesn't do anything however um, we are going to end up winning by one HP anyway so you can see why I kind of rejected the, that particular run uh, even though I, I won um, I really wanted to actually see the combo in action <laughs> 